we're all consumers ourselves, and so you have to trust a little bit of your intuition just to get the ball rolling. And then from there, you can kind of, you can actually go out and talk to people and kind of analyze the market. In the case of not only Shadow, but some of the other products we've done in the past, um, you know, we actually go out in the field and we just observe. So we used to, um, for the Relays product, the sports product, we went over to Berkeley and we spent uh, about two days, you know, kind of with a camera and a notebook, just sitting out there, kind of being creepy a little bit, having people give us funny stares and, and watch, watch the kids at the skate park, watch the kids walking between class at, at college, um, and then just kind of seeing what they were doing with headphones, how they were wearing them, um, what they did with speakers, like the guys at the skate park, are they using speakers or not? How are they using the speakers? How do they share their music when they're not being, you know, um, uh, when they're not plugged in, basically? And so just, just doing all that, collecting that data, um, that research, and it kind of gives you a lot of insights. And then if you're lucky enough, they'll talk to you. Sometimes they're not always as insightful as you want them to be. So you have to ask the, the right kind of uh, you know, probing questions. With Shadow, I think it actually started much earlier than that. Um, for us, we knew there was a gap in the marketplace. We thought of it more like a new market. We saw that there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't happening. Momentum seemed to be lacking around making things truly fashionable making them something people would want to wear all day so that you could bridge the gap between the, the tech-focused customer um, that always is going to be an early adopter customer. They're going to put their money all the time on the new tech versus the people you actually want to reach, the people that have a more of an emotional connection to technology, like the Apple customer. It's much more about that, that connection to the product than it is just the technology, just the, the stuff inside. And so that's, that's kind of where we're coming from as a brand. And so we wanted to give them that experience and we didn't think that existed. So, you know, with, with existing Bluetooth headphones, with wired headphones, um, they both have their limitations, but neither one was good for all day usage. And so, you know, wireless enables a lot of things, but with battery life limitations being what they are, you know, is there is there a way to solve that problem? Is there a way to go, hey, you know, can we uh, give something truly fulfilling that experience of all day, comfortable, and then stylish enough to wear that it's one of the last things you grab before running out the door with your keys. You know, one of the things that the moments that we knew that we had something, it was, it was incredible. It just, we were distributing them to people that were around the office and saying, you know, wear this little wire prototype, put it around your neck all day and let us know what you think at the end of the day. And those tests, those increments, you know, grew longer over time. But the cool thing was at the end of the day, a lot of times we didn't get the prototypes back and there wasn't any, there was no audio in there whatsoever. There was no drivers, there was no sound coming through it. Even if they weren't working it, wearing it on their, in their ears, um, they certainly had the reaction of, well, I kind of forgot I was wearing it.